If you're a lifelong PC user trying a Mac for the first time, or a Mac person giving Windows a shot, you're going to want to be aware of these five key differences between macOS and Windows. It doesn't matter which way you're going, these tips cover them both. Let's go! First on the list is moving files. Windows moves files just like it handles text. You choose the function at the beginning. Control X is cut, which moves the files. Control C is copy, which will duplicate the file. And Control V is paste, which finalizes each function. Mac OS handles text the same way, except with command instead of control, but it handles files a bit differently. The cut option doesn't work. Instead, you choose whether to copy or move the file at the end of the operation. So you'll copy the file at the start and then paste or move the file at the end. Windows is more intuitive because it uses the same flow as working with text, and Mac chooses the option which is less immediately committal and a little bit more convenient. Next up is renaming folders and files. There are several ways to rename files in both operating systems, such as clicking twice with a pause in between uh, on the file name, using the ribbon menu in Windows, and more, but I'm going to mention the difference in keyboard shortcuts specifically. File Explorer in Windows lets you open files or folders by pressing Enter, and rename them by pressing F2. The Finder in macOS makes opening a selected file or folder with the keyboard a little bit less convenient with the shortcut Command-O. But the advantage to this is that pressing Enter renames the item you've selected. I can't decide which of these prefer, it's just really about knowing, because this is one of the things that really confused me when I first bought my Mac. But I've come, really come to appreciate the sorting and organization being at the forefront of macOS, and I'll go more into that later as well. And a bonus point on this one for macOS is that it can also batch rename files natively, where Windows can't. The third difference is previewing files. This one's a little bit Mac biased, because it makes a really useful difference. In Windows, you can open your files or close them. It's straightforward, but also not very convenient, especially with documents like PDFs, which are bulky and annoying to open on Windows. It's a bit less annoying if you're opening them with the browser, but especially if Adobe Acrobat is your default, it's just slow and inconvenient to open some files. Mac OS, on the other hand, has a preview feature, which is accessible by pressing the space bar when the file is selected. It works with all sorts of files, documents, photos, videos, almost anything you can think of. It's quick, fast, and just phenomenal. This may not be a make or break feature, but it's another way that Mac puts organization at the forefront. I believe there are third-party apps for Windows which accomplish the same thing, but I'm a big proponent of the obvious features being built in. Fourth is closing applications. With Windows, it handles things for you. Pop-ups excluded, each window is an instance of an application. When you close it, it closes that instance, and then the last one to be closed closes the application in full. Super straightforward. macOS, on the other hand, doesn't close the application once all the windows are closed. I haven't really confirmed what the structure is behind the scenes, but each application will stay open with no windows until you directly quit the app. This can have the advantage of lower loading times and having application control if you close a window accidentally, but the disadvantage is that it takes some time to get used to. Hitting Command Q quits the app altogether and closes all the windows, and typically an individual window can be closed like a browser tab with Command W. Another note to make is that certain operating system features, like the Finder, are immune to the quit shortcut. In order to close a Finder window, you have to use Command W because the Finder won't quit. Lastly, the Backspace and Delete buttons. On a Windows keyboard, the Backspace key is used to delete characters to the left of the cursor. The Delete key deletes characters to the right of the cursor and is also used to delete files. The delete key on a MacBook replaces the backspace key on a Windows keyboard and functions like a combination of the two individual Windows keys. It erases the character before the cursor for text, as well as after the cursor if you also hold a certain key on Apple's keyboards. I can't remember which one, I'll put it on the screen here. Leave it to me to forget an important part while actually filming. Command delete is the shortcut to delete files. If you have a full keyboard, especially third party, with a separate delete key above the arrows, then it can depend on the keyboard and the app and your setup, but it's likely to function like the delete key on Windows if you have it, where it removes the text to the right of the cursor. Those are the most important tiny differences that really threw me off when I bought my first Mac and would probably be just as weird in the opposite situation going from Mac to PC. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Otherwise, here's another video you might be interested in.